Hello, all my beautiful Sagittarius. This is going to be a love reading for January 2021. I cannot believe we're in 2021, but, you know, I'm glad. I'm happy that the new year is starting, and hopefully it'll be a good year. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Also, if you haven't liked this video already, feel free to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, let's get begin. <laughs> so guys, if this reading resonates, that is awesome. But if it doesn't, it just means it wasn't the reading for you. And you can feel free to check out your moon rising or Venus signs alongside with my past or future videos. Past watchers, this is a safe place for you guys as well. So just keep that in mind while watching. The rules could be vice versa. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay. Woo. We got a lot of energy going on here. A lot of bit of a mixed emotions. So let's start off with the first card, which is the sun. Okay. This is automatically some good energy. Some. This is some good energy right here. Playful energy. Youthful. Bright. Fun. Colorful. That's good. That's good, guys. I feel like you're going into January with a good, um, like a good mind, a good positive mind. Clear mind, I'm hearing. You're clearing out your mind. I feel like you're in a state where you're trying to find happiness from within you. But I feel like whoever you're connecting with, you're also finding happiness from within this connection. There's some, this is somebody who makes you feel a bit joyful. Somebody who makes you feel a bit happy and makes you feel all types of butterflies and that you haven't felt in a really long time. We also have the Queen of Wands here um, following the sun. Passion. Somebody sparks up this passion in you. Who is this? You know, who is this? <laughs> who is this person? For some, you could really, you could be an artistic type of person. I'm getting similar vibes to Leo. Um, if you guys want to watch the Leo reading, if you have Leo in your chart, you could be, if you could be dealing with a Leo or you could have Leo in your chart and hearing. Um, it seems like a similar reading already. There's like a newness here, a new person that you could be in meeting. I feel like for some, you could be artistic, like I said. I'm hearing into photography, dancing. I'm hearing dancing specifically. You could be a dancer of some sort. Or you like to take dancing classes. Maybe you're into Zumba or um, hip hop, ballet, one of those I'm hearing. I'm hearing for some, you could have recently took like a hip hop class. I don't know who that is for out there. I'm hearing hip hop, or that's your favorite genre of dancing. You're just like, you're feeling free this month. Like you're just having a good time. I'm hearing you're having a good time. There's a lot that you are, a lot that you're feeling. I feel like the way you're coming across to other people is just letting loose, having a good time. For some of you guys could be partying some, some, you know, this month. I'm hearing, you know, be careful though. Just make sure to be careful, be safe. But I do feel like I'm hearing some of you guys are partying or you're like having a good time with your friends. But for others, this is like a fun energy where you're just like, you're feeling this new spark and this new passion with whoever this is. It's making you feel some sort of way. But I feel like the thing is people don't know deep down is that you're kind of struggling a bit. Oh, you've been struggling. We have the nine of swords. I feel like you're kind of hiding this from people. Maybe the struggles you had been going through, it could have to do with um, and a decision, a decision that you were having to make, or maybe just feeling confused with where to go. You could have gotten recently gotten out of a, a relationship recently, or you could have um, had an argument with somebody, even a friendship. Maybe you had a falling out with a friend, and it's hard for you guys. I'm seeing it. It is hard for you. It's not easy. But just know that everything's going to be okay and that you'll be able to get through this. But if you need to talk to somebody, you know, there are people out there that would love to help you and be there for you during this time. I do see here that they're, you're just a bit confused. Like, like I said, it might be with somebody from the past. Let me get um, clarity on this Seven of Cups. Somebody that's not been, okay, it has to do with somebody not being available. Maybe um, you had tried with somebody recently and they just weren't available to you. They weren't giving you the time of day. They weren't showing you enough affection or they weren't 
they just weren't putting the energy into you. They were just kind of lacking on that energy and you weren't having it. You weren't going to deal with it anymore. You had, um, you tried, I'm hearing, but you, but you at the same time, you're like, you can't, um, like you want to, I feel like you want to make it work. You wanted to make it work with this person, but at the same time you kept trying and just, they were just acting so unavailable. They're just acting like, I feel like one moment they would put energy into you and the next moment they'd back away and they'd act unavailable. They'd act distant and you were just like, you know what? I got to move on. So a lot of you guys I'm seeing, you, you moved on and you're at this place where you're open to new beginnings. You're open to meeting somebody new. Like I said, there is this new spark that somebody new that you are meeting. Let's get some of their energy now. Ooh, yeah, this person is, ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm feeling some good energy from this person. We got the water energy here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Oh my gosh, this person is feeling something towards you. Oh my goodness, Sagittarius. Oh, I got goosebumps just now. This person wants to give you flowers. They want to... They want to serenade you, I'm hearing. Like, they could have serenaded you, actually, already. But they just are a hopeless romantic. They've been looking, searching for the one. They're the type of person where they'll write letters, they'll write poetry to, for you, and they'll, like, do little, little cute things for you. Hold the door open for you. And just, like, nice things, you know. And that, you know, they're just very nice in front of this, for some, this could be your energy as well. But I do hear that this person just likes to do nice things for you. They want to win you over. They want to show you that they really like you and that they're feeling you. I'm hearing for some, you could have been talking about having a picnic together. I don't know, for a lot of places, it's kind of cold. So it depends on where you live. But for some, you could have had a picnic with this person. You're talking about having a picnic with them. Maybe by a fire or some sort. I don't know. Maybe an inside indoor picnic <laughs> by the fireplace. This person is definitely feeling some sort of way for you, though. Six of Cups. Soulmate energy. Past. I'm also getting past energy. I, I hate to say it, but there might be somebody coming back from your past. But not the person you were just dealing with, but somebody before that. And they're trying to win you back. They're coming in with a love offer. But I'm also hearing for others, it doesn't have to be that case. It could also be somebody new, but it's just a very strong soulmate connection. Let me get clarity on this card though. Let me get some clarity and I'll figure out what's going on here. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Okay. I have clarity for the Six of Cups. Oh, guys, yeah. A lot of cards are wanting to come out of the deck. For some, also, you could have a dog that is, like, your best friend. Like, you do everything with this dog. Nine of Cups. Okay. I'm still getting the mixed message. Like, it could still be for somebody from the past, but it also could be someone new. But you'll know because I feel like this is already happening right now. So you'll you'll figure out. If you know, depending on your situation, but I do feel like it is more of a new. I'm getting actually more of the sense like this is somebody more new, just a soulmate connection. But for a few others, it could be somebody from the past, but not this person here, not the person that made you feel like crap, the person, someone else before that. Um, this is somebody that you've been wishing to meet for a while. Some you've been wishing to meet somebody like this person. This person makes you feel a lot of joy, and they've been. They've been waiting to meet somebody like you. Like, you are their wish fulfillment. You are the one that they have been wanting to meet. They they find your... You have a very positive energy, like a very youthful energy, and they find that very attractive. They're very attracted to your energy and your personality. You're very vibrant. A lot of people like you, and you're, you get a... I feel like you're easy to get along with, and people... You're easy to talk to, and people feel like they can talk to you about anything, Sagittarius. And they really enjoy that. They find that very, like, very interesting, very cool, because not they haven't really quite met somebody like you where it's just a really easy, like, it's the conversation just comes very easy. And they see that you're like that with a lot of people. Like, you tend to be, like, 
um, make people feel at ease when they when you talk to people, and they really like that. They treasure this. They see you as treasure, almost like we have a treasure box here and treasure case. They see you as treasure. They see you as something that is worth a lot, and like you are worth so much. And they see that they're like, oh my gosh, like how did I find? How did I find Sagittarius? Like I hit the jackpot here with Sagittarius. Definitely sensing a lot of water energy, you guys. A lot of water energy. But you definitely fill this person's cup up. Seven of Pentacles. They're wanting to grow with you. They're wanting to. Um, so with this card, it's like it starts off with a firm foundation. It starts off at the bottom. Like first, with you plant a tree, you have the soil, and then you plant the plant or the seed and then you water it and over time it grows and that's kind of how this relationship is going i feel like you're kind of taking things a bit slow maybe it's things a little bit easy at the beginning not taking things too fast they're wanting to build with you but on a kind of on a slow pace not not trying to take things too fast because they don't want to mess anything up i'm hearing and maybe at the beginning they might have taken things a little fast and they're like whoa i need to hold push the brakes a little bit because i don't want Sagittarius to run away from me if I go full force on them you know I don't want Sagittarius to run away so they might have pulled back their energy a bit for some you could have told them like okay give me some time you know I'm not quite ready there I'm not quite ready yet I'm still getting over something else from the past I'm still trying to move forward right now in my life and still find myself and you might have told this person that so they are kind of like okay let's take things slow and for some guys this could be vice versa the roles could be vice, uh, reversed but you are trying to, they are trying to build something with you and they are very um, patient. This person could have Taurus energy I'm hearing, specifically Taurus, but also a Virgo, a Capricorn. But they're ready. They're ready to make it work with you. They're ready to see where this can go. Seven, it could be a significant number. Some of you guys can be born in the seventh. Um, seven um, could be a significant date for you. So... You could be born on the 7th. I'm also hearing 17 as well. The 17th or the number 17. Five of Cups. Okay, what is this about? Let me see what's going on, guys. Sometimes these cards come out and I'm just like, what the heck? Okay. Oh, yeah. They're not... They were going through a time of sadness. They were disappointed in their past... Um, with feeling hurt, feeling like used by people. I feel like people have used them or manipulated them in their past. And they're just like, they don't want to meet somebody that's going to do that again. And for a while, this person had been sad. For a while, this person, and maybe not necessarily sad, like all the time, but just like disappointed in connections, relationships. And they might be t telling you about this soon. Like just that they've been, just they've been, disappointed with people in the past and they're ready to open up to somebody new they're ready to meet the one they're ready to see where this can go they don't want to give up they see you as someone special so it's like when you come in ace of pentacles they see this new opportunity with you something that could turn into something special and it's almost like whatever they had been thinking like i'm gonna put my guard up it's like their their guard just went completely down their walls just flew down for some reason with you because they feel like they could trust you and they hadn't felt this way with anyone else it's kind of weird how like all of a sudden they meet you and they're like they feel like they can trust you because of the way you come across the way maybe you've shown already that you're a trustworthy person maybe you've shown to them that you have those qualities from within you and this person definitely finds that attractive they definitely see that you're the type of person that May, that won't hurt them and they feel like they can trust you because they had been disappointed in the past and not saying you're not like you know maybe for some you might not want be interested in this person really but I feel like maybe over time this person might catch your interest by surprise but if it if it doesn't turn into a relationship, I definitely feel a strong friendship here. Somebody that, like, you have those qualities, like, you guys are, I feel like definitely the friendship is there. Like, you guys can bond and talk all night long to each other. 
But I also see the romances there as well. I feel like there is a romantic side there as well. Some, but you feel a lot of passion towards this person too. Like you feel like finally somebody coming into my life where I can like we see eye to eye on things. We have similar interests in life. We have similar beliefs even. Finally, it's like the sun has come out. The sun is shining right now, and there is a potential for this to work. I do feel like there is going to take some work on both ends, though, because I feel like you guys have both are both struggling with things that have maybe held you back in the past, and you've come to the conclusion that you both don't want this to hold you back. You both are very similar. I'm hearing very similar pasts. And maybe you guys have talked about it, like, yeah, like, I've been really hurt, and this person's like, me too, and it's, like, similar situation. And maybe that's why you guys are kind of, like, trusting each other a bit, even though, you know, you don't usually do that. Maybe you kind of, like, well, like, I feel like I can kind of trust this person. It's this weird feeling that you just kind of have, and this person feels the same way. And maybe for some, like, you're, like, no, I, I'm not really all there yet. I don't really trust this person completely. I feel like they definitely trust you <laughs> because of the, like the way you come across. And I feel like for Sagittarius, you are um, you didn't, do tend to be a loyal person. When you commit to something, you do commit. But I definitely see there's something beautiful blooming, but it is taking time. It's going slow, and that's that's perfectly fine, you know. Wow. Something's telling me to pull one more card just for your end of things. Okay, can I have a um, card for Sagittarius and their feelings on this person? The world. New exciting changes. This is a huge change, a transformation going from within your yourself. Like this relationship or connection, this person you're meeting is changing you. It changes everything I'm hearing. It's changing everything. It's something you weren't expecting to happen you weren't expecting this person to enter your life you weren't expecting to feel this way you weren't expecting to fall this quickly even and the way you fall into this person is just kind of like out of the blue like it was just so unexpected i'm seeing a rainbow we got a rainbow here and we got like a little bit of a rainbow here on her dress like it's almost like all these feelings, everything you've been looking for in somebody, you're finding in this person, and you're starting to slowly realize it. Maybe if you didn't realize it at first, maybe it began, maybe when you first met this person, you're like, eh, like, okay, like, this person's okay, or yeah, they're fine. But then all of a sudden, the more you get to know this person, it's like growing on you. Like, they're growing on you. They're making you, like, you're starting to discover something else about them, like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. And then you're noticing, like, the depth of their emotion that they have and you're like okay that's what i've been looking for in somebody and then you're realizing like their family their history um the way they are around their friends the way they are around you the you know their personality and you're just starting to really like realize like wait this person checks off like every box that i look for in somebody and then it's just like all of a sudden you're just like is this the person the one for me like it's almost like it just kind of changes your world because you're starting to realize these things like this person literally checks off every box that I've been looking for. I've been looking for somebody like this. I've been looking for somebody like this. And it's all coming together. I'm seeing. It's very beautiful energy. So, yeah, guys. Uh, that's all that I have for this reading. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I um, hope that you guys have a good month. And hopefully I'll be posting another video soon. If you guys don't like this video already, you can feel free to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye